Uh, Chris Chinock here for the 8K Monitor CES 2023. I'm in the High Sense booth where I am looking at their 8K Laser TV. Uh, so this is, uh, they, they actually showed a prototype of this uh, Laser TV last year at CES uh, in a long throw format. It's now been reduced to their short throw format. Uh, they offer a number of uh, Laser TVs in short throw format. Uh, it is DLP based, uh, so it's a, uh, I believe it's a 1.3 inch DLP imager that with a four shifter to get the 8K pixels on screen. Uh, that's going to make this quite expensive. The numbers that I heard were 25,000 to 30,000 for retail for this. Um, so that's, uh, that's a much bigger challenge than some of their other projectors which are in the 10,000 or less range. Uh, and if they're going to sell, that, well, what I'm told is mass production will be in China in May, uh, and they're not yet sure uh, if this will come to the U.S. as a product. Part of the challenge for Hisense is that a product like this needs to be sold in the custom install channel, uh, and I think they don't have a strong presence in that custom install channel right now. Uh, so here are some of the specifications that you can see on this. 120 inch screen, triple laser, so it's got, I probably has this, uh, the 107% of BT 2020, which is on their other triple laser uh, solutions, um, which, which, which just means they've chosen primaries that are not exactly on the BT 2020 uh, specification. Uh, it, they, and they also, look, they also specify the screen nits, which means they've done this I presume calculated for this 120 inch screen, uh, although I don't know what the lumens, uh, someone could do the calculation to find out what those lumens are. Uh, it says Dolby Atmos and, and DTX Virtual X, but I believe uh, it would also include uh, Dolby Vision because that's on all their other uh, laser TVs, as well as HDR10+. Uh, IMAX uh, Enhanced Certified is a nice feature as well. Uh, going up and looking at the picture, um, I. I don't know if this is a final product or not, but I can certainly see some signs of, of, of speckle on this, and there was some banding in some, uh, some of the uh, images as well. So unclear of how much of this is content, how much of this is processing at this point. Uh, they will market this with this uh, ultra uh, short throw light, uh, ambient light rejecting screen. Uh, I believe this may be the daylight uh, 1.0 gain screen that they've implemented uh, on some of their other projectors. Uh, also on some of the other projectors, they've gone from uh, Android TV to Google TV, so I would bet this is going to be a Google TV product as well. So that's pretty much all I know at this point. Chris Chinock for AK Monitor.